Okay, so, um, I just tried to film a whole thing about, you know, the topic that I'm discussing today in the stairwell of one of my school buildings. Um, I'll put a clip in right now. There's an office right there that could open at any time, so I'm going to be making a lot of... Needless to say, it didn't turn out that hot, and so... I took the liberty upon myself to um, try to drive while filming, just for this vlog today. I think it'd be fun, and you know, I'm a rebel with no cause. The purpose of today's um, vlog is to talk about being the other woman. Now I know that it's not a situation that gets much love, because you know, a person might happen to be cheating. and. It's a little taboo. I get that. I know it. I know it well. But the whole thing about it is the other woman, that particular stance, is a marginalized percentage of the population that needs attention. I being one of them, and I feel like, you know, if there were to be elections, I meant with. I'm just saying. I've, I've been in the position a lot. <sighs> Most of the time, it's not the best place to be in, especially for me. I have a tendency to do that with my friends. It's not really good. Um, but it's a position that requires a lot of tact. If you don't have tact, don't don't try to join the club. Don't try to do it. I think I should make. Okay, I'm just changing this vlog right now. I'm making it into things that you need to have to be an effective other woman. Concubine, concubine, not concubine concubine yes um so to be another the other woman you need one a lot of tact you need to know when and how to conduct yourself the right way and when and how you know in what situations you don't really have to be the persona that other people especially the other woman needs to see um you need tact you need Humility, I think. You need to be humble in times when, you know, you see the, the person that you might happen to be messing around with, with their official person. You need to be humble. You can't be cocky about the fact, you know, when their partner's not there, they might happen to be all over you and request your attendance in very private settings. Right? You need to be humble about it because if you're not, it's just going to blow up for everyone involved. For everyone. It's, it's not fun. It happened last week. Um, you also need to persevere. You need to have a lot of perseverance when you are the other woman. Because there are times, you know, when things, things are, they get lost. People, people drop their... They're cool, drop their calm, freak out, you know, are worried about, thank you, are worried about, why did I just say thank you, she couldn't hear me, um, are worried about, you know, oh, this person knows, and, you know, she might know, and la la la, and, and, you know, you need to slap the other person in the face, get them, hey, look right in my eyes, look at me, we're hooking up right now, this is not the good time to talk about it, not the best time, and they need to just get themselves together, and roll. Roll. They need to roll. Um, so it's... I see this is going over three minutes, and I wanted to keep it short and sweet, because this is not my typical video. I'm usually indoors, not going to CBS. But being the other woman, it's, it's very demanding, and I might extend this and make it like a series, like what else you need to do to be certain people. Um, that's really a note for me and the offer. Anyway, uh, it's an important thing to do, and it requires a lot of roles. you got to wear a lot of hats. But in the end, you know, you, you get to make out with taken people. It's, it's a great thing in life. What was that? Okay.